hi Vanessa again um, I have opened my project sketchbook and as you can see I've actually got an applique design in there and it's called blue whale now the actual applique area itself in here is 18 inches so it's quite a big applique so I thought well now that we have uh, EQ stitch I might put a name in there for my grandson okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, double click that and we'll bring in onto my quilts because that's what it is if I wanted to um, actually get this part of the design then I need to go into my sketchbook and go to blocks and you can see all my applique blocks that I've got in here so if I go back I should be able to find my whale okay there's my whale there so if I um, click on that then my block opens and that's the whale that I pieced ready for my applique then I added color so that's the actual whale that I want to use and I want to add Ryan which is my grandson's name in here so what I'm going to do is to go into um, work on stitching now I've actually changed my hoop area to my large brother hoop which is actually 300 by 200 and I just did that by going to my stitching and drawing board hoop options and I've got my brother and I've got the 200 and by 300 millimeter hoop selected in there so I'm just going to click OK so that's actually the Ryan that I typed in but I'm going to show you how I did that so I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to select the text button over here on the left hand side and then I want to select from up here the font that I want to use so I'll just do leave the Cairo one pick that I had before I also wanted to change the size of it to make it a bit bigger because as I said that applique area is quite large so I've actually made this up to uh, 50 millimeters in size so now if I actually drag an area in my hoop and then click you can see the great big cursor that I have there which will I can then type in Ryan as you can see that fits nearly the whole of my hoop size across the width so there's Ryan as I selected it now that's still showing as artwork so if I go to stitch it's now converted that into a stitch if I go to the set thread button up here and I've selected the um, matching fills button because I want all those letters to change so just for this exercise I'll make that paler so as you can see that's changed that and if I want to change the outside color to another color so okay for this exercise I'll do that again they've all changed don't like that color so I'll go back to a darker blue color which is what I had before and I'm going to now add that to my sketchbook by clicking the add to sketchbook button now if I open my sketchbook and go to embellishments there's the Ryan that I just did and that's the one we've just finished so that was the one I did before and that's the one I just just finished so I'm just going to close that okay now because that's in my sketchbook I can actually use it on anything so I'm going to go back into my work on quilt and you can see now that my whale is still okay I'm back worked out what I'm supposed to do now I needed to set my embellishment which is this button here now Ryan is available <laughs> sorry about that okay so as you can see that I've picked Ryan now when I come over into the middle where I want to set it I've got this thing that says uh uh can't do that but I can by holding down the shift key I can then add Ryan's name now if I want to actually change the direction of that I can click on it 
and I can actually rotate it and then just move it where I want it. So I'm just going to leave it in there and now I can add that to my sketchbook. So when I open the sketchbook and go to my quilts and go to the end, there you'll see is the one that we just saved, which is Ryan. Now you would have to take this piece of fabric to your embroidery machine to machine that on there first before you attach all your applique. Now the reason I say that is if you stuff up with this, you haven't ruined all the rest of the stuff. You can just redo that part. Okay, um, I hope that makes sense. Thank you. Back again. After I uh, went to my embroidery machine and had a look at this design, I noticed that the A and the N were really close together. So I decided that needed changing. So I had to go back into my sketchbook and I actually went into embellishments and didn't matter what I did, I couldn't get Ryan to come back where I wanted him to be. Then I realized that I had to be in stitchings, not embellishments, to be able to edit. So then I selected Ryan, which was the last one I did, which is really close for the A and the N, and brought that onto my work table. Now I can actually select that and using my arrow key, I can actually move it so that it's further apart because when you go to stitching, you'll notice that these were buttered right up to each other and, and I didn't want that to happen. So once I then made those that change of that space, I then actually saved it again. I added it to my sketchbook. So when I open the sketchbook, I've actually now got another Ryan which is under here. As you can see I've got quite a few Ryans at the moment uh, and under embellishments that's the amended one which is the last one. So what I would actually do would then go and delete the one I don't want so that I'm not using it by mistake. But that was just an added bit that I discovered after I'd finished the class. Okay bye again. <laughs>